welcome back to the lair of stag and this is studio vlog number eight in last week's vlog i was uh toying around with the idea of uh, hands coming from the graves i really really wanted a sticker sheet because i i thought they'd be great for like planners and stuff um but i wanted to get that done for this release so this week's been mostly finishing up the last couple things I wanted to get done and then working on the release. There were a few more things I wanted to do but I was not able to get to it because I kind of set Thursday as like my goal for uh, having everything out finally because I it's been like I think over a month since my last release and I just had a lot of stuff compiling that I needed to deal with. Fortunately, I had a little mishap this week and I had to deal with my printer for a bit, so I spent like many, many hours where I could have been printing out more things dealing with that. I've also been working on printing tons of more stickers and cutting from the other other ones from the I've been working on the last few weeks. So I have ample stock of those, but I didn't really record a lot <laughs> that so much. Um, because I have more than enough in this vlog that I know I'm. it's probably going to be a longer one this week. Just because I, there's a few segments that I was talking. But anyway guys, here's my week. Enjoy!
I've been trying to print off the rest of these covers, but I uh, started having an issue with banding. Like right when it gets to the end, like I go through probably one black ink cartridges cartridge for uh, 10 covers. Like so I do go through ink really fast, but I'm just having the issue even after replacing. So I've probably run a deep cleaning on the print head like probably six times now and it's still doing it on multiple colors. I've also changed the cartridges. I'm gonna try changing them again because maybe the ink is expired. But it's doing it in gray, cayenne, pale magenta. It was doing it in black too, but black seems to look a lot better. But that's super annoying. But I've had a whole bunch of fails on the Enchanted Forest ones. It really sucks because I printed in the back of these two already. And it doesn't screw up until the very end normally. Like it looks like there's a little bit of banding throughout the middle of it, but it's hard to tell if it's just texture or actual print issue. such a waste to turn this thing off. Like I have to hold the button for a while and wait for it to shut off and it just sits there blinking and blinking while it's trying to shut down. But I do have I believe two extra print heads. This is what the, the thing, the cartridges go into. I used to refill my cartridges years ago and I had the issue where they'd always get clogged so I'd have to spray out the print heads and I, I just learned to keep extra print heads around and that's actually like one of the most expensive parts of the printer. Like, you, like if you look for these used printers on eBay, like a lot of times they'll be missing the print head because people want the print head and the print heads retail some like well over a hundred and you can get these printers sometimes on rebates this one like this printer you can't get anymore I don't think there might be some left on the aftermarket because they just rolled out the new Canon printers but I ended up I like the way this one works I'm used to it working I can find cartridges for it really cheap so I didn't want to switch to a new one, so I went and I doubled down and got a second one. So I have my other one in the closet just in case this stops working. I have another one and eventually I'm going to have them both at the same time. So that'll be convenient. But if you're unfamiliar with inkjet, if you don't use ink the ink uh, very frequently. It will congeal and dirty up your print heads and it'll get clogged all throughout here. And uh, 
it is a pain and you gotta do the cleaning process, which is kind of like an automated thing the printers do. And it uses a lot of ink to clean the print head and it's so frustrating because ink can be so expensive. Um, that's why it, like, if you're not looking for like photo quality stuff, like having a laser printer for like home use is probably like the best. Like my mom drives me crazy. She buys like a brand new inkjet every time she wants to print a photo because it won't work anymore. And those cheap printers, like there's no use replacing the print head or anything because you may as well just buy a new printer because a lot of times printers are cheaper than it costs to make because these companies want you to keep buying ink. It's like a really unfortunate trade-off. Letting the print head sit in water while my uh, washer's running because I figured the agitation wouldn't hurt. You can see all the ink. My hands are gonna be uh, dyed for like a week now. Oh, this is the print head check. After I did a deep cleaning after I switched the print head, but it could be because the print head's still dry. And I did another deep cleaning and it was looking much better, but there's still having issues. The whole block of uh, the second column, and pale magenta. So I still have the print, the other print head soaking. It looks a lot better now than it was when I first uh, started. What well, I don't think I'm gonna run another cleaning on it, but gray is still having issues. I see a little banding there, but at least it's laying down mostly. Like, I still see faint lines. What I'm going to do, I think, is just print out a bunch of more print checks to uh, just see if just it printing in general will help cycle out whatever might be in there, giving it issues. Because uh, I'm using a used print head and I might not have cleaned it that well. I really rather not switch to my last new one that's still in the package. So I think I'm done making notebooks now because uh, I only have seven black ink cartridges left and I won't have a delivery until next week and I don't. I don't want to go through too many of them in case I need them for prints or something else. I just have to get the printer working in case uh, tomorrow I have a bunch of prints going out for a packaging day. Well, I think I got it sorted. I'm not seeing any banding right now. 
I did, uh, I decided screw doing the print checks because I, you don't get a lot of ink out doing them and just ended up printing one of the covers, but it's on plain paper, so it's not day vivid. And you can see the faint print check behind it. So hopefully everything is in order. Now I guess I gotta go take some uh, product photos because I really want to get a release done tomorrow. So I decided to replace uh, how I used to mine my notepads, but I also use these things to uh, press notebooks as well. But I made a new contraption so I can get more done. Which I have another one, but I need to drill the holes wider because it kind of catches and it's kind of a pain to like open and close but I'm able to at least press a lot more because like I like keeping them in for like 12 hours so they really get good shape 
otherwise they, they might try to bow or open up a little bit. But this thing is just made from cutting boards and like bolts and stuff and it was fairly easy. If I can fit a ton more in there. And I still have these things. Because I was actually using the vise to uh, help close this new one. Because uh, yeah, my hands aren't going to be able to fasten those wing nuts that easily. It took me about two days to get all the pictures done for this release. By the time I was done with some stuff that I needed to get done before the release, I ended up having a, a lot less daylight than I wanted to. And I like taking pictures in the daylight. There's something about the actual natural light. It just, everything looks better. But I really enjoy creating these little scenes and then just kind of moving things around. Like every time I take pictures, like they're a little different, even though I'm using relatively the same stuff. Every now and again, like something new might get worked in or something's left out. But it just kind of adds to us extra layer of creativity to see what I can do. There's a lot more things I would like to do, but I definitely need more space because I would like to, I used to have my, uh, I want to say probably like my prop board, the, the backing board and the underneath board. Um, I used to have those set up like all the time and I could just casually take a picture and release a product, but not so much anymore because like space is definitely a factor so I got to break it down every time and I I got the kind that I did because I knew I would have to break it down I really enjoy the wood texture but there is some issues with it because it'll pick up like any dust or whatever and it's not like sealed with anything it's very rough texture like you can probably get splinters by handling it so, but I like that natural texture of things, but I don't think it's going to hold up as well. So like maybe someday I might sand it and restain it and then add some kind of coat coating to it to make it a little more smoother with stuff so it doesn't collect everything. But I really don't want to lose all the texture on it either. So I don't, I don't know. But I might end up having issues with it later on because it's impossible to clean as well because the way it is. Like photographing and release days, they're typically around like the same day because I normally just don't get the release done until later in the evening. Um, but like it's kind of a lazy day because it's just like that's all I'm doing for the day and like once I'm done, like I'm still in my pajamas. Like I, like it's like this big huge relief because I'm finally done with it. Like it was like a huge project getting all the stuff done and then I just kind of do a mini celebration. Normally order food on release days. It's like a reward for good behavior. This to print this year. weird like if you can see the other boxes like they're they're all wrapped like this except for the business card which looks like they're in like plain white boxes I'm a little confused is open for business <laughs> So they just have one random box 
It's all ornate with business cards. And the rest of them look like this. <laughs> Why? <laughs> It's a limited edition box. Been exclusively designed by Ega Alanda Indonesia. From 99 Designs. Key. So I. Don't remember what I got. I think these might have been recycled. Like, they're not great. That cuts really off, but... The back print must have been misaligned. Because at least the front one's somewhat centered. This is cards. Like, I kind of like the finish. So, Vista Print, if you're unfamiliar with, does relatively cheap promotional printing. Um. I've been using them for years because it's just like a good way to get a bunch of business cards which typically I was I had these little coffin shaped die cut ones that I was using but uh those ran out a while ago and it's like two months to even get them back in stock and like I the company changed their name and merged like their other website that they had um and they no longer have my files, so I have to completely like redesign them from the ground up or find the artwork. But I don't know. I don't know if the camera can pick this up. Like the finish is actually kind of neat. Like it looks like it's laminated. I just put my stag skull on the back. The website and then my links and contact. But it, like, I hadn't ordered from Vista Print in probably about a year because I haven't needed to because I bought so much, so many bulk uh, postcards and um, bookmarks. So. But their prices, like, for me to order stuff was double from what it was last year. And I just got an email the other day from Cat Print that I think it was 8% their prices are going to be going up. Like, things, things are going to get really expensive really soon. And some of these, I'm going to have to run these through the stack cutter myself. Like... But it just sucks because it's not misaligned on the other side. Like the the print was definitely misaligned. They got white. Like I'm not one of those people that likes to contact companies and complain. This is just horrible. It's not like I didn't have bleed. Jeez. I got an ungodly amount of these cards. Is this batch any better? Batch is much better. How many of them are bad? This one on these appears to be good. My limited edition box of freaking rejects. Yeah, that's what it is. They're like, here's all the crap we didn't want. <laughs> we'll put it in a special box.
Oh my god. Why is there another one? This one seems easier to rip. It's more pliable. So I just get the these postcards and like they're standard glossy. I have a uh, gotten postcards from them before that were kind of there wasn't really consistency in size. Like this, the print is cheap. But they do offer some nice options, but they're not like entirely customizable. Like I was looking through their business card options and there's like stuff like spot cloths, like that'd be really cool. But then I, I realized how it's done and I can't just, like I thought it'd be cool to have like a matte black card and like spot gloss, glossy black logo on it, but it's like that's not a thing they can do because you're uploading the image and you're supposed to tell them where in the image you want it and like, they're not going to be able to tell anything if it's all just black, so meh. That's more of a specialty company thing. They have like curl stock and stuff. But sometimes their their printing of colors is like way off too. Oh my god. Oh my god. They change their soft touch lamination. It's like velvet. It's the the, the actual soft touch. Soft touch. Okay, so I get post the yeah. These things, oh my god, I love, I love this lamination, like, okay, matte desaturates colors a little bit, like, they're not as vivid, but it is so satisfying, like, it's silky, velvety, that is freaking cool. Um, like, if you guys experienced, uh, my coloring books, because I always get the matte lamination on them, um, and it, it, it's kind of like similar to that like velvety softness. Um, I got lamination in the studio now for this, but I, I don't know. This I am, I'm happy. Like I gotta go get the other bookmarks, and it's like on both sides. It was so cool. Like black and white look really good in this kind of lamination because it's just so vivid. Like it just pops. But it, it also definitely like makes things softer. Okay so I went through all of these and it appears the only messed up one is the special edition box. So I, I don't know why only those. So I cut these critters down. I decided not to round the corners on the top of the business cards because it's pretty close to the email. For my bookmarks, I'm doing the reanimator now and the haunter. I just, I, I love that soft touch mat because it, it just, it just makes the colors so soft and I don't know. Then I rounded the corners of Daisy Bone. Ready for tomorrow's orders. It's release day, and I assure you, I am in fact working. So, my new method, 
I just kind of changed it up yesterday <laughs> because I, I never create drafts of, uh, in Etsy or the listings or whatever. And I started taking advantage of that and it made it so much easier. Like my cell phone, I have been using more and more of like the last two years for my business. Um, it, like the cameras are so good now on these things and uh so I use it for all my photos and I can get quick little videos I've been using it a lot for the, the vlogs it's just super convenient and I have a photo editor on there as well so like after after I get all the pictures done I sit there and I just edit all through the photos and I do the initial listing on the cell phone for Etsy but I started saving them as a drafts now and so just using my computer and like filling out the rest of the information and copy and paste what I need and like it just made it so go so much faster this time around but this day I finished taking the pictures and whatnot so my phone was like nearly dead after using it so much doing random videos and shorts and stuff so I'm like currently tethered to an electrical outlet. These guys have like this pearl finish and it's in person it looks so much better. Um it's like a linen paper with a slight texture, but it's kinda like metallic y I wouldn't say metallic, but it has definitely this pearl finish. I was able to find paper like this that I can print myself, but these I have made through cat print. Currently, the only bookmarks I make entirely from start to finish are my my Haunted Ghost bookmarks and the Enchanted Forest ones. But I like using cat print because it's just takes something kind of off my shoulders. Oh jeez! So this week I started a TikTok. <laughs> I'm not going to play any of the videos because they got songs on them. But it, it's kind of fun because I'm already making all these little clips and recording things for the vlogs and I don't know. Like I, It's a lot easier to do them than I thought but I keep doing this thing where like I'm scrolling through the effects and accidentally add effects on there that I didn't mean to. Like uh, this, this one here has these uh, red things all over. Cause I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> but that was kind of fun. I feel like I'm too old for this stuff though. I started doing uh, reels on uh, Instagram too. So. Doing things. I feel like this was a fairly large release this time. I didn't realize how much stuff was like accumulating. I kept forgetting about the washi tape 
Like I had taken all my uh, my product photos and then I sat down and was like editing all the pictures on my phone and I had to go back and take the washi photos and like even when this segment I forgot to put them in and I had to go get them again. I was like, oh yeah, those released too because I like doing a little look, look see through of all the things that came out this week. This ended up being a pretty long vlog, but there is a lot of segments that I was just, like, talking in and I edited out a bunch of stuff, but I don't know, maybe at some point, depending on how much I do in the weeks, I might end up with like two vlogs in a week, but we'll see. Like I don't feel like I did a lot this week, like I just got a lot of, I got a lot of things done, it's just a lot of things aren't recorded either. But I just don't think I did a lot of different things. I was doing a lot of the same things and a lot of the stuff I was doing last week too. Anyways guys, thank you for watching. I will be back next week with uh, more shenanigans. Hopefully I'll be starting some new artwork. I have a new kind of series I want to do. That includes kind of three mini projects of uh, stuff for a theme kind of under dark academia. But I think that'll start with uh, I want to refresh the dark poet stuff, so I thought that would be kind of cool. But I think they'll end up being on the same release all together because kind of fit. Well anyways guys, you can find me on Instagram, you can find my website lowbrownmisfits.com and my Etsy shop. Well, bye.